here at Heinz Field. In advance of overtime, all even at 20 apiece. Chris Boswell kicks DJ Dallas awaits and will return this from the two. Dallas setting up blocks and will be brought down at the 20. Seven yard line, and that's where this offense will take over. Ulysses Gilbert with the tackle. Let's make one last point on all the field goal timing review stuff. Chris, did it change much that whole review? No, the only thing it changed if they had had to snap it at the official's whistle with one second, it would have given the Pittsburgh Steelers a definitive time to take a chance, maybe, and jump even jump off sides and try and go block it. So I think when you know you've got just one second. It's a little edge for the Steelers, but who knows if it would have ever played it. We all look back. We believe with that downing, there would have been one second left on the game clock, even though it went to triple zero in the stadium. That's pass. This is forward. And it's Travis Homer. And it's TJ Watt. And it's one yard. Yeah, TJ is going to get double teamed, but he's going to get double teamed by two tight ends on the outside. And that's probably not going to be enough. So he's going to play straight off of that and just make a huge play. So now Geno Smith, you got the field goal. Then you put a touchdown up and sort of solidify your status with the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle touchdown wins. Smith throws over the middle and caught the 49 yard line by Tyler Lockett. Big throw by Smith, big catch by Lockett. Oh, what a pretty throw that was. Right over the head of Devin Bush there, who was sitting in a perfect position. And Gino just dropped it right over his head. Watch this. I mean, he's sitting there going, I got this one. And Gino put a little arc on it and dropped it right in there. Blitzes. 49-yard line, Cam Hayward again. Loss of four. He was waiting on DJ Dallas. What a game Hayward's had tonight. Hard enough to block Hayward when you have your starter in there. When you have the backup in there, it is really difficult. Hayward went right past him. I'm officially involved in eight tackles tonight. Five solos. Second and 14. Go! That's Metcalf in the slot down at the Go. bottom. Five in the pattern for Smith. Underneath, it's Dallas. Steelers rally to the ball. DJ Dallas down at the 45 yard line. Here comes a big third and four, a couple of minutes into OT. Yeah, and you're seeing the veteran presence, right? I mean, you've got Geno Smith's been around the block. I'll take third and five all day. And what's interesting is, is this four down territory for Seattle? We may know more after this play call. The way Boswell's been kicking field goals, the Steelers would be only a couple of first downs away from getting in his range, which would win the game. And Smith's not thinking that, he's thinking pick up the first down. Go! Third and four. The Steelers bring in five. In trouble, what? Brings him down. Make a decision to release your back. And when you do that, you don't chip on one of the best players in all of football. Your running back here releases in the route instead of helping your tackle, Brandon Shell on the outside, and you pay the price. Highest paid defensive player in the league. He has played like it tonight. Factor all over the field. The kick by Dixon. Ray Ray McLeod from the 11. McLeod down the sideline. Good special teams hit to knock him out of bounds at the 20 yard line. There have been no shortage of big hits out here tonight, has there? No, uh, that was the guy who's been catching the ball and running the ball, DJ Dallas, who knocked him before he could get ahead of Steve. So now, with that first possession out of the way, the next score wins the game. Roethlisberger and the Steeler offense, they found something at the end of the first half and they scored back-to-back -back possession touchdowns. Have not been as efficient here until that last drive to get the field goal. 
the end of the fourth. Yeah, they're staying in a run possible formation here. I was wondering if we were going to see the spread for Ben or this. Yeah. Najee Harris looking the right side. He'll get four to the 24 yard line. And lost their left tackle, Dan Moore, in the second half. And Joe Haig, the veteran, came in to spell him. I mean, this is where you test your philosophy, right? We want to convert to be a running team. We want to, now when it matters, when it really matters, now what do you do? We'll find out. Four minutes gone in the 10 minute overtime. Berger out quick to fire with the tight end. Jamal Adams, we saw AD catch enough balls and after six, like I'll go get him. Third and three coming up. One of the differences with the quick throw and running philosophy is you end up with a lot of these third and three, third and fours. And this is a team that has been really efficient doing third and threes and third and fours over the years. So here it is. Claypool is the big physical presence, but Nazi Harris is the guy who has been making the plays in these situations tonight. And he is basically uncovered. And look that way. Pumps, escapes, goes to McLeod, oh, and he stopped. What a hit by the rookie Trey Brown. Fourth round pick out of Oklahoma all over that. Pittsburgh will punt it halfway through overtime. Oh my goodness, what a play. This had to be a squared up, perfect tackle. Could not miss, could not let him slide to one side or the other. And you're going to see the rookie Trey Brown come up and perfectly squared up, makes this play and drives him straight backwards. What a play. Great look. That's where he had to get to. Kept it a yard short. Marvin, the rookie, kicks it. Lockett says, get away. It was a long kick and a good kick. Unreturnable and deep from Presley. Harvin the third out of Georgia Tech to the 15 yard line. Huge 56 yarder when he needed it with no return. We don't talk about defense nearly enough, but this is a heck of a tough guy to get on the ground. And a perfect tackle. Did not let him get away. Form tackle. Arms wrapped around the legs. Mm, what a play. And Chris, you've been saying they're looking for corners. They're looking for guys to step up and take the role. He got some first team reps in the preseason. It was on IR. Mm. That was so good. Yeah, you know hard it is to tackle somebody like that in the open field. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Seattle takes over back at their own 15. Still in next score wins mode. Maybe the last time your offense sees the ball. Geno Smith will drop deep. He'll pump. He'll take it. Lost the football. Knocked out by one. Recovered by Devin Bush, who circles the right way. He almost lost the ball. But he's got it at the 16. And the Smith fumble forced by the defensive star, T.J. Watt. There is no way T.J. Watt could have made that play. They had half of the entire state of, of Washington on the outside. They had five guys on his side. He circles all the way back around the whole thing and punches it out. Wow. He got the penalty earlier for punching. He'll get no penalty for that. All five. Five-man slide. Running back that way. He circles back and gets it out. His 20th forced fumble, most since he entered the league in 2017. Pittsburgh has it at the 16 yard line in Boswell's field goal range. Roethlisberger had a word with the official beforehand. I wonder if they're just going to move it into the middle here for Boswell. Let's see. We have Derek Watt, TJ's brother, in the backfield at fullback ahead of Najee Harris. Blue 80. Blue side. And Ben will do just that. He'll get it right in the middle of the field for Boswell. And will they kick it on second down? Let's see. Yep, let's go. They're going to do it. Oh, yeah, you're going to do it. Well, that was the initial signal. But Mike Tomlin may just have to go take a timeout because they weren't exactly ready to do it on second down. So Mike's going to let him run the clock down. 
you know, Chris, we see Derek Watt out there at fullback for that snap. And I think you know, TJ was telling us this week about the brothers with JJ playing, obviously in Arizona, Derek and TJ. And Ben's going to take an in victory formation to make sure that they don't have any issues with getting Boswell out there. And burning a little clock just in case they don't make it. TJ told us one of the things I really appreciate and love about playing with my brother on the same team. A lot of days we drive to work together. The road trips we sit next to each other on the play. We can talk about the game with your brother. It's something different. Something you can't just do with every other teammate. A little something to talk about on the way home tonight and the way back into the facility tomorrow. What a play. The biggest and best players make the biggest plays in the biggest moment. And TJ Watt made two of them. Boots to snap, Harvin to hold, Boswell from 37 for the win. And the Pittsburgh Steelers win in overtime.